All right, it is Friday, bright and early, 9.26 a.m. I started earlier because, as you can see in yesterday's video on this $900 challenge, yesterday sucked. Crappy orders all throughout the day. Um, I did the best I could, but I kind of got to make up for it, so I started early today. First order I received is a PetSmart. So I'm going to PetSmart. All right, we made it to PetSmart. Let's see what this order is. All right, that was simple. It was eight items, but they were all these Rachel Ray wet food items. That's what I made. Not a bad order. Now if we could do something about this rain. I guess, let's talk about my goal for today. Since last night was really bad, I think my goal today is to obviously reach the $600 mark since my original plan to make 900 was 600 during the weekdays and then do a $300 Saturday, Sunday, which isn't impossible since I've done those videos here. And so that's why I started so that's why I started early today. But you know, starting early doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to make more money. And I've learned that the hard way. You know, sometimes it just means you're going to end up declining more orders. Um, you're going to waste more on gas. That's why in general on the weekdays I just try to go out and reach my goals during the peak times. Not peak pay, but the peak frequency of orders. So that would be lunch time, take a little break in the afternoon, let the gas tank relax, and then boom, hit the dinner. And it used to be dinner until late night, but recently late nights have not been as good as before. So that's it, that's just my strategy here. Um, I think it's not impossible to hit 600 by the end of the day, but it's definitely going to be work. All of this is work. I, I didn't set out to make 900 bucks a week and think that it was going to be a breeze. It's never a breeze. <laughs> Ended my dash in University Park. Uh, in an attempt to avoid the rain, I'm driving south. And uh, I'll just pick up in South Miami. In any case, I'm glad I decided to look at the map again because University Park is grayed out and so is South Miami. But at least South Miami is not raining right now. All right, next stop, Dunkin' Donuts. All right, that's what we're dealing with. And a nice coffee. And I'll put the totals right there. Okay, next stop, the corner station. All right, this is a $10 order. I was kind of surprised. I thought it would be like a catering. I thought it was another easy cater because I've never heard of this uh, breakfast place, but it's just one order. All right, next order, Frankie's Pizza. And check out the totals on this order. What a difference a day makes, huh? All of a sudden, I'm getting high paying offers. What's the deal? Only uh, miserable people order DoorDash on Thursdays? All right, I waited about 10, 15 minutes, but it's all right. It was a big order, and here's the final payout. Okay, my next order is very interesting. No, it's not at JCPenney. <laughs> It's actually a Sephora. I've never done a Sephora order. It's here at Dadeland Mall. The order is over $25. It's $25.25 with the potential extra hidden tip. Um, the only drawback, and it's not really a drawback, but it is a nuisance. It's in North Miami Beach drop off, but it's 12.30, so I can be in and out of North Miami Beach. So let's let's do our first Sephora order. 
Okay, that wasn't the Sephora. There's another Sephora towards the middle of the mall. So let's see what this entails. It says I have to scan a barcode. Never done that. Okay, well now I know where the Sephora pickups are. So basically I just had to scan this barcode and I'm out. All right, add makeup delivery as one of the things I've done. <laughs> you know, this uh, trip to North Miami Beach says on the thing it'll take me 43 minutes to get there. But all in all, I don't think this is gonna set me back time-wise. Um, I actually have an apartment, a rental property in North Miami Beach, and I always go there around this time and I'm in and out before rush hour traffic, so. The other thing is, if these guaranteed $25, this puts me at where my goal for the afternoon is, making it easier for me to finish off tonight over 600. Now who knows, I might do a few more deliveries after this one, because like I said, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna be back in town before rush hour. I might even have time to do one or two orders up in North Miami Beach, see how that market is. Who knows? And anyways, is this was a bird in the hand. After you experience what Thursday was, what Thursday afternoon was, where making 14 bucks was like pulling teeth, you weren't guaranteed any kind of nice order. You see $25 order, yeah, it's going to North Miami Beach, but you're like, no, let's just let's just get this quick money, man. All right, that Sephora was delivered. Took me about an hour and 35 minutes to get here. And yeah. Check out where some people live in Miami. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? All right, let's move on. All right, I've activated in University Park again, and I have an order for Sweet Liches, which is that door in this warehouse right here. Oh, I needed to stretch. Oof, being in that car all that time in the expressway gives me lower back pain. I'm a thousand years old. I ring the doorbell. This is just a six pack of cookies. I'll put what my totals are right here. Okay, my next order is the smoothie spot. All right, I've got the smoothie spot order. Never did an order here before, but hey, it's paying well. Here's the uh, breakdown. Is that Roy Rogers? Who the fuck is that? A dude on a horse. All right, this delivery is at Nicholas Children's Hospital formerly known as Miami Children's Hospital. One of the uh, top children's hospitals in all in the entire country. My dad used to work here for most of my life here in Miami. He was in the IT department. We went to the Marlins game. You can check out that video there. And this lady was gonna meet me in front of the ER, so here I am, lady. All right, that was easy. I love dropping off to the ER of this hospital because everybody's just waiting there for you. Now, just to show you how bad things were yesterday, I'm pretty much at what I made yesterday the entire day in just this lunch shift. Also, I did 17 deliveries yesterday. I didn't even do 17 deliveries any one of those days where I counted the 100 deliveries. Check out that video series there. Um, yeah, I did 17 deliveries. I'm at seven deliveries now, today, 
and I'm pretty much making the same amount. That's how bad the deliveries were yesterday that I needed to just crank out bad delivery after bad delivery just to make enough. So, all right, I'm by the wing stop. Let's just, let's do one more order before I uh, take a little afternoon break. Huh? One more, one more. Let's make it an even number here. So I just declined a wing stop double order. I was right that I would, I wanted to do a wing stop, but not a $6 double order. And it was taking me way north, almost to the airport for both of the, the drop-offs. Six bucks, that's kind of rough, man. That's like two non-tipping orders going far away. So I, I declined them. I'll uh, start driving back to my home. If I get another order, cool. If I don't, I'll come back out tonight. All right, let's see what this is. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna accept a 550 order. <laughs> I'm accepting now a 550 order, but it's being delivered right to my house. This is best case scenario. Like, you know you wanna do one more order and you just wanna go home and then you get an order that's delivering literally in your neighborhood. All right, it's a New York pizza delivery. Roma pizza. Let's knock this out. Here's the New York style pizza. And this is what I made. All right. That's gonna do it for the lunch shift. I'm gonna come back out tonight. Uh, so this puts me in a good situation because all I have to do is make a little over $40 tonight to achieve my goal of being at 600 or above by Friday. And then I just have to make it a $300 weekend, which isn't that easy, by the way. <laughs> Check out my other $300 weekend videos. I mean, you, you work all day. So if I can make over 600 tonight, that would be ideal. That way there's a little bit less pressure on the weekend, um, or, now I haven't thought of this possibility, we might blow past 900 and get closer to 1,000. That would be something, wouldn't it? All right, cool. I'll see you later on tonight. And we find ourselves tonight at the China Steakhouse you, 3. I've been here before. This is where I got the fortune cookie that um, I played the lottery on. And here it is. Nice little quick order. Dude works at Target. I should be done with this in not even 10 minutes. It's 9.33 p.m. I uh, took a little nap <laughs> since my last little run, little lunch run. That went pretty well. I declined a little Caesars right off the gate before I got this China steak. Cause it was 325. It was going like two or three blocks from that little Caesar and I would have just accepted it to accept it and not mess up my um, acceptance rate. But the only thing that was a drawback was it was like eight items and you can't check to see what it is so little caesars i ain't gonna wait for eight items even if they're eight crazy breads four pizzas four crazy breads <sighs> if there was a two liter of pepsi there i would have hated it so had that have been one or two items i probably would have accepted it at 325 but ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, um, 
there's a peak at 11.30 here at University Park for $1.50. Man, DoorDash really does not want to pay you more than you need to be paid. Like, that's like stretching it, right? $1.50 peak, like, okay. Um, Palmetto Bay has a two fifty peak, so that's better. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be dashing long enough tonight to take advantage of anybody's peak, so. But it's good to keep that in mind, like, hey, if it's still busy by 11.30, let's look at the map, because if Palmetto Bay is balling, you know, I'm going to Pirine, baby. Next order, the Carolina Ale House. This is part of a double order, and the second part of this lady's order is at the wing stop. All right, I have the customer's wing house and ale house. <laughs> wing stop. Here are the totals. Um, that's kind of crazy because definitely if these were individual orders, I would have declined it. Both of them. But since I saw they were in the same shopping center and she didn't live far away, I'll take your seven bucks, you non-tipping asshole. Other good thing about this order is that wing stop, the good wing stop, the one I usually go to, is really backed up. I waited like 10 minutes and there was a bunch of drivers waiting, so now you know, mental note, I'm not doing another wing house tonight. Not worth it. Unless it's crazy. My next order is here at Sweet Bichotes. I have never been here. I don't know what this place is, but it's a $10 order. Sweet Bichotes. All right, I don't know how to explain what the fuck this is. A bichote seems to be some kind of like phallic donut. I don't know, man. What do you think? That looks too much like you know what. Anyways, here's what I made. Sweet bichote. Okay, I'm pretty sure all three of these things are pretty vulgar terms. Chocha, you can guess what it is. Bichote, you could guess what it is. And titties. <sighs> it's my people, man. Why does it always have to be my people? Next order, here at Denny's. Not ready yet. And this is what I made on this Denny's. All right, next order. I made myself down to Palmetto Bay for this Wawa. All right, this turned into a double order, but nothing's ready. And the place looks like a madhouse. No one's here at the pickup thing. But I'm just gonna wait this out because this order will put me over 600, so. I don't care if it takes 20, 30 minutes. So one order and then two orders. This would have been a lot easier if DoorDash would let me deliver this one first and then come back for the second one, but I had to wait for everything to be ready. So anyways, here's the totals. Our next order, a shop and deliver at Walgreens. All right, so I feel good. I'm over 600, so everything after this is gravy. And this is just, yeah, what's up with the Mountain Dew today? This is just a, tw this is just a two liter of Mountain Dew. Is this guy insane? Scan barcode. <laughs> All right. 
It seems kind of silly, right? I'm getting paid $7.75 to deliver a Mountain Dew thing that costs $2.50. All right, I had a McDonald's order here at this McDonald's. It's closer to Kendall than it is uh, Palmetto Bay. That's why I accepted it, because I kind of wanted to start moving north. But I don't know what it is. This McDonald's, I always have a problem. I've never completed an order here. The store was closed, so here's what I made, half pay. Thankfully, it was a uh, 850 order, so I got paid 425. But yeah, so I'm heading back to University Park, looking at the map. Uh, it's 102. Let's see how I feel. Hello, I actually have a DoorDash pickup. Oh, we have the system closed down. Uh, uh, wait, hold on, what's it called? Uh, 113 481. Oh, that's the last one we got left. Okay, cool, I'll be there. Right. That's good to know. So, obviously, I decided to stick around. A little 650 McDonald's. I'm not mad at that. There you go. Hey. All right, I'm happy with the way things have gone today. Um, my totals are such that now on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I only have to make what 280 instead of the 300. So let's say that's 140 each day. It's manageable. Saturday and Sunday are busier, better paying days in general. So yeah, all right. Thanks for joining me and we'll wrap this up tomorrow and Sunday. But I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm gonna make nine hundo this weekend, this week, so. Ugh. All right, let's get out of here.